Step back and relax. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new too. On the 22nd of March to the 21st of April this year, millions of Muslims around the world observe Ramadan. When the sun sets on the 21st, it was time to celebrate Eid. The month of Ramadan is a very special time for Muslims. During this month, hundreds of years ago, the angel Jibril recited the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Muslims remember this special time by fasting. This means that they do not eat or drink between the hours of sunrise and sunset. They spend time reading the Quran and thinking about how Allah wants them to live their lives. Ramadan begins with the new moon and ends with the next new moon, which brings the festival of Eid. Ramadan is a time to think about other peoples and be kind to them. The story about here is about a boy who is fasting for the first time. He learns that he has a lot of thank you for. Once there lived a boy named Ibrahim. He lived in Morocco with his father, his mother and his little sister. Morocco was a beautiful place. There were wide rivers and huge mountains in the distance. Ibrahim was fascinated by the mountains. I wish I could visit the mountains. I wonder why it's like this story that isn't flat. I see some men from the mountain at the market. Their life must be very different to ours. Speaking of the market, it is time for us to go. The market was crowded with people. There were stores selling spices, dried flowers, fresh vegetables and clothes. Ibrahim wanted to browse the stores, but it was already late. He rushed to the store where he helped me staff the old tea seller every weekend. You're late. I'm sorry, sir. Take these teas before they get cold. Ibrahim worked hard all day. It was late night before the stores packed up. Finally, Ibrahim could go home with his father. What do you see in the sky, Ibrahim? Just the moon. It is the new moon. It's the month of Ramadan now. Ibrahim knew all about Ramadan. It was the time his mother and father fasted. He spent a lot of time reading the Quran and thinking about other people. Ibrahim had never fasted before. He knew that children were not supposed to, but he was getting older. Maybe he could. Father, I would like to fast. I want to know how it's like. Very well. You can eat nothing for one day, but you must drink some water. The next morning before sunrise, Abraham ate a large breakfast whilst his father's friend loaded the van and they climbed in. Where are we going? We're going to the mountains to get ropes. We can send them as he presents in the market. Ibrahim was so excited. He peered out of the window and watched the mountains get closer. It was a very hot day. Ibrahim felt thirsty, but he knew that knew the other man could not drink. He was feel bad to be out to watch him drinking, so instead he tried to remember a verse of the Quran and sued for God about his thirst. Finally, they arrived at the mountains and climbed out of the van. Ibrahim looked around. He was very different from home. They just were just in long robes, the houses were stone huts. Ibrahim desperately needed a drink. There are no streams, no wells, and no shops. He would have to ask one of the villagers. Can I help you? I'd like a drink of water, please. Follow me. My name is Salima. Salima led Ibrahim on a long mountain path. It was very long and very steep. Ibrahim's legs were starting to ache. Are you sure there's water here? Of course, I come here for water every day. They continued to climb until they reached a small cave. Salima went inside and Ibrahim followed. It was dark inside. Ibrahim stumbled and hurt his knee. He felt very scared. Kneel down and lean over this rock. You can get some water from the stream. This is the only way to get water in our It would be much easier with candles, but we can't afford them. It was quiet as people got to the van. He couldn't believe that someone could do this every day. He knew it must be very difficult and felt sorry for her. He wished he could do something to help. Two weeks later, Ramadan came to an end and it was time to celebrate Eid. Ibrahim and his family gathered in the city to have some fantastic celebrations. Wow, it's so beautiful. I can't wait for the feast. But Ibrahim was not in the mood to celebrate. 
who are still thinking about his day in the mountains and still trying to think of a way to help the beaver. As it was getting dark, the old man began to give out candles. Candles, candles, get your candles, don't light them yet for the celebration. I couldn't believe it. A candle? He could give it to Sleema. He quickly put the candle in his bag. Suddenly he spotted all the candle stumps on the floor that the old man had dropped. He collected them all. Soon he had a bag filled with candle wax. It would be the perfect present for Selima's village. The next morning, Ibrahim ate breakfast with his family. He found the perfect present for Selima, but did not know how to give it to her. He could not climb the mountains by himself, he sighed. Yes, sir. I'm not again in the mountains yet. It's walked so far just to get some water. <laughs> Overjoyed, whenever he would look at the mountains, he would think of the poor villagers climbing the hill to get water and the light of his candle, which would guide them. It's an exciting time for Muslims who celebrate it with prayers, charity, gifts, cards, and feasting. He begins with the next new moon that appears after Ramadan over the Muslims' holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Very often, Muslims who live in America and Europe will telephone their friends and families in the Arabic countries to ask if the new moon has appeared yet. Many people stay up all night to see the new moon. First day of Eid al-Fitr, Muslims wear their best clothes. Sometimes new clothes are bought especially for the occasion. Often a special perfume is worn by men and women. Girls and women might have decorated their hands with reddish brown patterns. These might look like leaves or flowers or swirly shapes. These are called mendy patterns. The most important part of the day is when Muslims go to their mosque, their special place of worship. They give thanks to Allah and to ask to help lead their lives. First, Muslims meet their friends and families and the celebrations begin. Sometimes outside the mosque there will be gifts and special food. Before they leave the mosque, Muslims make sure they have three something to people who are poor or in need because they believe in God's eyes. Everyone is equal and that everything belongs to God. So money should be shared fairly and those who have enough to live on must help those who do not have enough. When it's time to eat and to eat well, all sorts of different foods are eaten depending on which part of the world you're in. It's a time for families to get together too and a time to prepare the best food. Very often the food is spicy and sweet things are a great favourite. Children look forward to this time because this is when presents are given. After the meals, the celebrations continued. In some countries, they like to watch acrobats and processions. In Saudi Arabia, they like to watch camel racing, and horse racing is also common in the Middle East and North Africa. I can't wait to continue this celebration with our St. Andrew community today. Thank you for watching our sim.